They're angry about what they regard as the unacceptable behaviour of a small number of British-based paparazzi photographers who are selling pictures of Prince George to a small number of magazines. Not in this country. None of these photographs are appearing in the United Kingdom. But they are being published uh, by magazines in Australia, New Zealand, France, Germany and the United States that are also appearing online. And what has prompted this is a number of incidents in recent weeks. Last week, I gather, a photographer was found in the boot of a car near a playground. Uh, he rigged up the car so that he could sort of take his photographs through a, through a small gap. He had food and uh, a drink for the day. Um, uh, and there have been other incidents in recent weeks. Uh, according to Kensington Palace, photographers have used other children to draw Prince George into view around playgrounds. They've been found hiding on private property in fields in Berkshire, in the sand dunes in Norfolk, where George has been taken by his mother and his grandmother to play on the beach. And, of course, it's a very difficult area of, of law. I mean, if you're in a public place and if the photographer is not uh, breaching the peace, it is unclear uh, uh, what the law would say about the behaviour of these photographers. But today, this morning, uh, Kensington Palace has issued this letter to several dozen media standards groups around the world. They're also making it public uh, on their website in the hope that the readers of those magazines which are publishing these photographs will become aware of what they call the unacceptable circumstances in which these pictures are being taken.